Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Football Manager 19, episode 71. We are playing with Barnet FC. Started the uh, save with Infield Town FC, a fan-owned club. Had a very good time with them. Uh, condolences out to the Infield community and, and club. Uh, one of their longtime supporters passed away. And I do want to give him uh, props by name. I don't, of course, I don't know him personally, but still, uh, let's see. Infield. Uh, John Powell uh, passed away. Uh, this would have been today, this morning. Um, so, yeah. So condolences out to the infield community, uh, the infield supporters, and the Powell family uh, for Infield Town. Also, just on a different topic, you know, my other save that I've put on hold, Workington uh, FC, AFC, uh, they have sacked their manager and they are looking for a, uh, a, a new gaffer. So uh, I don't know, maybe I ought to throw my hat in the ring because I was doing pretty well with them, even working with a director of football. But uh, anyway, uh, so anyway, that's been going on. Let's catch up. I'm trying to remember where we left off here. I believe it was Cheltenham, was it not? I think it was. That doesn't look familiar. Oh, well. Uh, we ended. Let's, let's assume it was. Uh, we ended up beating Portsmouth in the group stage six to two. Nick Richardson, Ian Joyce, Mariah Welch, uh, Pereira. Who's down there? Hi, you. Uh, Dion Pereira and Keandra Simmons, all with goals. Simmons coming in the 95th minute, just to add insult to injury. Uh, Doncaster. Hey, my friends. How you doing? Are you Fred? Yes, you are. Hey, Fred. Uh, we beat Doncaster 4-1. to one. Uh, That was an away game. Look at that, 9,200 people. I'm so jealous. Uh, and, and then, uh, let's see, we got goals from Sim, a brace from Simmons, Stephen Dua, Ian Joyce with goals. Northampton, we beat 4-2. to two. Jordan Stevens, Nick Richardson both scored in the first 10 minutes. Mariah Welsh scored another early goal. We gave up uh, one to Miguel, and then we picked up a fourth goal by Alex Ayakaviti before Jamie Carpenter scored a late goal for uh, for Northampton. Uh, then we beat Portsmouth 4-1. to one. Harry Hamblin, Mariah Welch scored again. Kendra Simmons with a brace. And then we had a nil-nil draw with Nottingham Forest. 21,000 people. And we only had 343 away. That is... Ugh. Do you imagine if we were drawing 20,700 per match? Oh my God, that's crazy. Uh, of course, they have a bigger stadium than us, but still. Uh, then we beat Mansfield in the FA Cup first round 3-0. Ian Joyce on a penalty. Dua and Stevens added late goals. And then we won against Tottenham under 23s. We were actually underdogs in this one. 656 in attendance, no Tottenham fans showed up to support their under-23 club. Shame on you, Tottenham. Uh, <laughs> they lost because of you. 4 nothing. Uh, Harry Hamblin, an opening minute goal. Kendra Simmons, Steven Dua, Dion Pereira. Uh, two late goals just to put the icing on the cake. So today we're back for Shrewsbury and Gillingham. Uh, so where are we at? Well, we're in the second round of the Checka Trade Trophy. Uh, we were knocked out by Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup. We are in the second round of the FA Cup, and we'll be playing Rochdale. And we are top of the table on goal differential and a game in hand over Oldham. Uh, Cheltenham has slid to fourth position, but that's still only two points off. So it's going to be a very tight race. Uh, I mean, 
you know, even sixth position is where the, is where the difference starts opening. That's nine points, but we only have four points between first and fifth. So it's going to be a nail biter. We're having to win a ton of games. All right. We are favored today. Uh, so I'm going to go with this tactic right there. Let's get to it. I have a, I have a two story house and uh, the upstairs bedroom uh, over the years. I've lived here, we've lived in this house 16 years. And uh, yeah, so they, uh, we've had a couple of leaks in the, in the second bathroom upstairs. And uh, oh, there's a lump forward. Nice touch by Simmons. Uh, good push away by Turner. Still, we get the corner. Um, so, yeah, I called Sunday when the leak started and uh, got their voicemail. Got a call back from their guy on call. And he says, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a call back on uh, Monday to do scheduling. Well, I was out of town Monday, but nobody ever called. So Tuesday, I was driving home from out of town. And they... Uh, <laughs> Still hadn't called, so I called them, and they said, oh, we don't show anything from you. And I said, well, that's nice. You need to talk to your guy that was on call because now I'm a little pissed off. And uh, so he, uh, oh, Pereira, oh, set high. Uh, nice try, though. Nice try. Um, so anyway, um, that's going to piss them off, right? It's got to. No? They, did, they didn't get pissed off by the encourage. Well... I want to go tactics. So anyway, they had a cancellation. They were coming tomorrow, but they had a cancellation today. Today, excuse me. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And uh, there, so they'll be here in about a half hour. Or so may have to deal with that between between games we'll see all right joyce oh off the keeper joyce did not look happy at that i want to try to put a new tactic in possibly uh it was a tactic that i saw uh bust the net use i uh, saw it on his youtube channel today so maybe we'll put that in. I haven't done. I haven't used one of his tactics before. I watch. I watch some of his stuff. Not a ton, but some of it. All right, they're on a counter. This is not good. Uh, tighten up. Come on, boys. Oh, off the crossbar. Do we have a counter coming back the opposite direction? Do I? Oh, uh, Dua lumps it forward. P Pereira. Oh, God damn. How many? Another counter coming back the other way. Looks like the German Autobahn. Meow, meow, meow. Like a tennis match. German Autobahn, tennis. Get it? All right, well, shit. All right, you're not doing anything there. Joyce, back to Dua. Finds Bailey on the overlap. Crossed in. Headed out. Dua. God damn. Yeah, I swear to God. They can't get it around the freaking defender on the cross. Oh, the, ta the slide attempt. Gets nothing but air. And Sean Plummer. From distance, finds the post. And we're down 1-0. Um, let's bring Aaron Wilson on. All right, we've got, we've got the subs in. Good. Poor effort. The header, we just let it sit there. Oh, my God. Come on, Hoskins. How do you let that ball in? 
All that shit. Oh my god. They are just ripping us apart. Hoskins looks like a flaming rookie. Really? Well, the wall did him no favors there, did it? Oh my God, is he going to score again? Okay, a big run by Joyce. Holds it up. Oh, he's tackled. Robert steals it. The counter. Oh, he slides at nobody. What the fuck? What the shit is that? Oh, dear God. Uh, Ian, uh, you know what? Pereira, you look like shit. Um, mid, I'm going to bring on Nick Richardson just for an attacking presence out there. It's not his normal position, but still. Five eight a six. Oh my God! Look at the bend. <laughs> oh, that was Premier League worthy. Up to Bailey. Bailey looked horrible today. He had two slide tackles that got nothing but air. I mean, if you're going to do that, at least take the guy out, right? Richardson, the header off target by Wilson. Not a good day for Barnett FC. Oh, he just lumps it. Just a off chance that it bounces over the keeper. Uh... Yeah. 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 That was shit. All right. Well, I'll get to the next match. Uh, we fell all the way to third. <sighs> Hopefully that is not a sign of us starting to bottle it and fall apart. I mean, we're playing way out over our skis here, but... You know, still. All right, well, let me get up to Gillingham, and uh, I will see you guys back here in a second. Wow, I am still recovering from that last match. We're playing Gillingham today. They're 15th in the table. We are favorites at home. It is breezy. Oh, that's my son getting home from school. The dogs will bark for a few minutes here. Bergs! Bergy! Oh, man. All right. All right, we are in the yellow. Maybe the blue shirts were bad luck for us. Go with the... the the yellow yellow honey mustard shirts this time and see if that does any better. All right, Awani passes it up to Stevens, squared into Hamblin. Poor pass trying to cut it inside. Uh. Hello. Yes. Yes.
Uh, they text me, they call me. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, well. Thankfully, it doesn't happen often. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. My kid forgot his keys, so I got to go. All right. Sorry about that. Everything just kind of oh, tipped away. Stevens through. Oh, there's a nice shot. That puts us up. Six goal for Nick Richardson. Excellent, excellent job. Thank goodness. It's good to see something positive. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, my son forgot his keys, so I had to go get the door. Uh, then the plumber got here, so, yeah, just like, uh and I just can't re-record the episode, you know. I mean, it's the, the match is already underway, right? <laughs> All right, there's the overlap. Nice ball down to Awani. Crossed in. Oh, nobody there. Got a counter opportunity. Taylor cuts it inside. And looks like we got a hit on that ball. Eight shots to one, ten percent possession advantage. Let's uh, let's praise the boys. Come on. Where's Oldham here? Oldham, right there. They're up one nothing. Yep, that's who we're chasing now. All right, did well. Excellent effort. It's so funny. I'm sitting here. So you guys know that we've been fostering kittens for 10 months now. Um, nine months. Hoskins. He actually held on to a ball here. Good. Uh, so we've got three of them that are going to be up for adoption, including this one. But this is one I would like to keep if I could, but I can't keep them all. But it, right now, I've got two of the cats that we're putting up for adoption that are actually on my desk right now, or right here. Hey, creamsicle. So if you want to adopt a cat and you're in the Houston area, uh, I can put you in touch with Dora's Dogs and Cats, and we've got three of them up for adoption. <laughs> Oh, God, that was on the line. Oh, it was just sitting there, and the keeper had no clue. All right, we are going to – let's pull Billy Bailey off. He's a defensive right. Okay, we're going to move Bolter outside. And then we'll bring – let's bring Tristan Cover on. And Kendra Simmons. Let's rest Simmons. Let's give Wilson 30 minutes. I mean, Wilson is one of our top guys. So, I mean, we actually have three. Oh, fuck. Seriously? Like no sooner had those guys come on. He must have gotten, he must have hurt himself running over to welcome uh, the two new guys on the field. He was welcoming cover on the field and got hurt. That's the only thing I can fathom. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, now I'm kind of screwed. All right. Defensive right. All right. We'll move. We'll move cover outside, and then we'll bring MJ Williams on for the injury. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, oh, that's going to be hurtful because now we have nobody else just in case we have anything else happen. All right, that... Uh, da, da, da. we'll praise him again. We should probably have a lot more goals here, right? Cleared out. Uh, Clayton makes a good run back to intercept that ball. 
Hamblin, back to Williams, Stevens, finds cover, making the run. Stevens, Pereira, uh, Pereira with a bullet at the far post. Be done in a second. That's a big goal. That kind of gives us that breathing room just in case they get a late one. All right, Wilson. Oh, man. So we had the keeper blocked one, saved a second one, but we had a third guy there. He must have been offsides, disallowed. I'm guessing. Ooh, Rich. Oh, oh. <laughs> he hit the crossbar, bounced on to the keeper, hit him in the back, and bounced into the net. That was fabulous. I had a striker with leads in FM18 named James Wilson that I signed. He was really good. I think he had a 30-goal season for me. All right. Clarkson out to Joyce. All right. Oh, he passes it to Dua. We give it right back because we feel bad. Uh, nobody covers him. Nobody covered him. They just let him walk right up to the spot and put it into the goal. That might be the worst goal I've ever given up. Come on, boys. Don't let him get two. Oh, nice. Hoofed away. And a win. We will take that. Uh, let's see. How did uh, Oldham do? Hey, buddy. Oldham. Oh, Oldham beat Walsall 3-0. 3-1. Three Oof. All right. Well, we'll say excellent efforts. Continue. Chesterfield is up next. That's going to be another... Excuse me. That's going to be another tough match. All right. He's out three to five weeks. Great. Oh, and Niwi, four headers. So we will praise his defense. Uh, and we'll get rid of this day. We'll move on to tomorrow, which is now today. Hey, John F. Kennedy Day and take a look at the competition. So we're still in automatic promotion, 41 points, still a game in hand. And we are just minus one on goal differential with Oldham now. Cheltenham is our next match. No, we play Chesterfield next, my bad. Six. I mean, there's eight points from first to fifth, so they're opening up some room. We've got five points from second to fifth. All right, where do we come back? Still got a long way to long way to go. I've got the hiccups. Oh God. All right, fifty nine ninety one, three hundred and six away. So we got fifty six hundred fans. That's good. And let's see, we have FA Cup coming up. I think we're supposed to get 14,000 in television coverage for that, for television coverage, uh, I believe. So that'll give us a little boost of money. Um, bum, bum, bum. EFL Trophy, second round. EFL Trophy, Southern Section. All right, so we're through Group C. We're into the second round, Southern Section. I don't know what that does. At what point do we get to the actual EFL Trophy? I, I have no idea. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Probably going to play through that anyway. Oxford, who did, where are they at? They're in League 2, so eh. Millwall, they're relegated. Uh, MK Dons, Yeveltown. Might come back for uh, for Millwall. Let's do Oxford and Millwall. Why don't we do that? That'll give us uh, five more games off camera. 
Uh, so we are getting too far ahead and we can kind of stay in the thick of things. Guys, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff if you don't mind. And we will see you next time. Thanks again for dropping by. Later.